Happy Halloween, all my Catsylvania fans. It's me, Callie Stormdoll, and today I'm here with two vampires from the Netflix series Castlevania. I did pick these up from GameStop. Um, these are Castlevania action figures right here. I have Alucard, and these are presented by um, Diamond Select. So on the back of his, you see it says Castlevania Alucard. Let's just try to get that cleared up. Okay. And you can see you can also get um, Sifa and Trevor. So this is Netflix Diamond Select. All right. And I also have um, Carmilla. Carmilla. I don't know why I thought her name was Camilla. Okay. Her name is Carmilla. And their boxes are actually different. And um, I think they may be a part of um two different series maybe so it says carmilla like hers has a little less writing on the back of it and hers has um god brand and dracula it says also available there you go dracula on the side so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get these two vampires opened up we're gonna check out their accessories and then check out the figures all right guys i'm back and we're going to start with Alucard. Now, Alucard comes with, it looks like, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 10 pairs of extra hands. You guys can look them over. Some are fist, some are open. Some look like they're for grabbing. But all of them are black. Now, he also does come with a, um extra head sculpt. And on this head sculpt, he is showing his fangs. The hair is blonde and it's made of like a softer plastic. The paint looks really, really good too. Now he does come with this blue flame sword, which looks really, really good. And like the detailing on this end looks really nice. Like I'm impressed. And like this, even though it's like a blue flame, it actually does have um nice weight to it. It doesn't feel like a flimsy piece. And he also came with this sword, which is gray and black. And look, when you open it up, it's actually a sword on the inside. And this is also detailed like that. So it's they definitely um, took some time to um, make their accessories. Now, this is Alucard's face sculpt. You can see this is more of a relaxed face. And um, his head can move because the hair is plastic. Now, everything on him um, is nicely detailed. I didn't see like any major points of sloppiness or anything like that. Everything looks really, really nice. And straight out of the packaging, he does come with um, fisted hands. As you guys can see, and his belt is also a separate piece. So he can move his head side to side. He can look this far down, not so much up, but he can move at the shoulder. Um, no butterfly joint or anything, but it's just a ball joint at the shoulder. He has the bicep swivel. He can one bend at the elbow. He also has um, a rotation at the wrist and a bend at the wrist. He does have this um, ab, well, like abdomen crunch right there. He can move from side to side if you turn him. He also has this thigh articulation like that. He also has a thigh cut. He has a double bend in the knee. He also has um, a boot cut articulation. He also has a rocker. So he can move his foot just like that. But no, no toe articulation. Now Alucard definitely is... Um, articulated but when it comes to Carmilla it's a different story now Carmilla does come with these extra hands and they look fierce honey they look very deadly um like I would not want to meet her in a back alley she also comes with an extra head sculpt and mine's did have a little chip on it I don't know if you guys are gonna see but on the side there's a little chip she looks crazy look at her like she's bloodthirsty. Wow. 
So there she goes. Now, um, Carmilla does come with a stand, and that's because everything at the bottom of her is static. But let's look over the figure. So this is the face that Carmilla comes with. Very relaxed, docile. Now, she can move her head around some, even though the hair does hinder some of that. She can look this far down. This Well, she can't look up at all. She can only look somewhat down, somewhat up. And if you hold her arms out, her shoulder blades are made of a softer plastic. So even when you do that, um, it won't actually hinder the movement. And her shoulder is on a ball joint. She does have one bend right there. She does have um, wrist swivel and wrist bend. Now her hands, let's see if there's any difference. Okay, because um, her clawed hands are kind of similar to these, but they're different. They're different. Okay, just was making sure. She does come with the little, um, I guess, abdomen bend, but she also can swivel at the waist, but then nothing else is moves down here i thought they would do what they did in the past and still give the ladies the leg articulation but it looks like they did away with that i'm assuming because they didn't know how well um carmilla would sell if you guys are not fans i'll tell you that she is a villain on the show of course um so then maybe they didn't know how well she would actually sell but what do you guys think these two are from the netflix series castlevania it is an anime series about vampires and everything dracula are you a fan of the series do you guys collect the figures let me know by leaving me a comment below and have you guys ever dressed up as a vampire for halloween here's a little trivia i have and it was a very famous vampire. Can you guess which one? Hmm. Let me know by leaving me a comment below. And I'll let you know by answering if you guys decide to take a guess. Um, wait to the end. I'm going to have some cool shots for you guys. And remember, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I never realized how many scary toys I collect.